Patricia Rutledge cordially invites you and a guest to a black tie analogy of the blood-brain barrier. Please RSVP. Imagine that you have been invited to a formal dinner at an upscale restaurant. Although you have an invitation in hand, the maitre d' refuses service to you. Although you look quite dashing in your new suit and tie, you see how the other members are attired. You understand the rejection and head for the door. A limousine pulls up. A friend from your past, Michael Bolton, exits the car, smiles, and wraps a friendly arm around your shoulder. He ushers you back into the restaurant. Curiously, your attire no longer defines who you are. The maitre d' welcomes you and Michael, despite your clothes, and offers you a seat at the very best table. Now for the analogy of the blood-brain barrier. The brain is like an exclusive restaurant, just as you held an invitation. Even if there is an infection and the brain needs assistance, most medicines which are pumped into the bloodstream cannot enter. The blood-brain barrier is similar to that maitre d'. It will refuse access to you. That snooty blood-brain barrier will reject you because you don't look like the other cells. You don't wear the correct attire. Just as a famous musician might be instantly recognized, a known molecule called DHA has access to the brain. Similar to that musician bringing a poorly dressed friend into a black tie event, sometimes we can get this DHA molecule to let a medicine tag along without really being recognized. Hitching a ride with a friend might be a sneaky way to bypass the blood-brain barrier, but it works.